Hey guys, it's Marco again. I finally finished my adventures of all the covenants with all the made specs, and now I will lay out my first hand experiences with all the specs in the current expansion. So you guys can have a broad knowledge of good and bad sides of each spec in Mythic Plus and the raid environment. Let's hand? start with the most popular, and that's Fire Mages. They really are a force to be reckoned with, but they aren't as strong as they were in Ayalasa. They are just a burst machine with 1 minute cooldown on their huge burst, which is by far the lowest cooldown of a huge spell. And the fact that they only have 1 minute on this crazy uncapped AoE potential, this is what makes them the best mage spec in Mythic Plus. You also have the ability to combust a prideful before the boss, and still get your most important cooldown back up for the boss. This isn't important in lower keys, I'd say up to 20, but after 20 it's extremely beneficial to have a cooldown up for a pride fall, and fire mages are just the best when it comes to that. Another good side of fire mages is the fact that they just need one legendary, which is the best for them for solo targets and AoE. That's again perfect for mythic plus. That also means you have to spend a low amount of soul ash to be ready for all situations. Now when it comes to the raid, they are again the kings. As soon as you properly know your opener. You can literally do everything on the move and your execute phase is super good without requiring some special build for it. And also your whole last phase, so execute phase, is completely movable. Their movement is godlike. They are the perfect class to do the mechanics of soaking due to their blinks, alter time, barrier, mirror image, ice block and even cheat death. They don't have a lot of RNG except the critical strikes outside of the combustion, so they're always reliable in pulling the same DPS on every pull, which is important in the raid environment. One more important thing is that they are the only main spec with a form of instant crowd control in Dragon's Breath. I cannot express enough how I miss ability on my Frost and Arcane Mage. The ability to interrupt the mobs, stop them in their tracks without counterspell. It's one of my favorite mage abilities. The last good thing which comes to my mind is that they are just a burst class, which is super important in this raid here and it will probably be important in the next one. I'd say that 6 bosses in this raid out of 10 require more burst DPS than constant DPS. And that's kind of a trend with the newer raids. Those are all the good things about the fire mages that I could master and I only have 2 to 3 far-fetched bad things about them. First bad thing is that they aren't very versatile in terms of covenants. Being Night Fae gives you just too much power, especially in Mythic Plus. Necrolords are second best in my opinion, but again they aren't good in Mythic Plus. They are good when you're hitting the target all the time. Another bad thing is that they're lacking constant DPS. Yes, yes, they are the burst class, but compared to Arcane, their downtime damage is lower than Arcane Mage damage. Overall, you only have 1 minute cooldown on your burst, and the lack of constant DPS will kinda wait out itself. Lastly, they don't have any slow options other than Frost Nova Root, and if you're specced into Ring of Frost. While other mage specs have a source of constant slow. But I'd take Dragon's Breath over slow anytime. Now when I'm done praising the Fire Mages, let's talk a bit about the polar opposite spec, Frost Mages. They're the most consistent spec of them all, they have some cooldowns, but they aren't very important. Your biggest cooldown is Icy Veins and it almost has 100% uptime. While it certainly will have 100% uptime in the next patch. In my opinion, they aren't super good in Mythic Plus situations, it's hard to compare them to Fire Mages. They will do almost the same damage on every pack, offer a ton of slow, but they are damaged a lot if all the targets aren't stacked under your Blizzard. They also have uncapped AoE with Blizzard plus Blizzard reduces Frozen Orb cooldown. I like the fact that they also have a super short cooldown on Icy Veins which just brings another rune of power and they're pretty good at killing bosses and pridefuls. Don't get me wrong, you will be able to time 20 keys with frost mages, but higher keys than that are getting extremely hard for frost mages. For lower pack keys, they will be good in those smaller packs where they can ramp up their DPS. 
Good thing about Frost Mages is that they are the mage class with the biggest range. They can always stay at 40 yards away from the target, and DPS without a single care in the world. When it comes to the raid situation, they're just offering a lot of consistent damage. They're huge on the cleave, the best cleave spec from mages, but they're quite hurt due to lack of burst, which is kinda always needed. So they're losing some of their raid points there. They definitely shine on some fights, but on others they will be at the bottom of the DPS list. Good thing about them is that they are super simple and easy to play. You will have all the time in the world to focus on mechanics. But they also have the same utility and defensive cooldowns as fire mages, with one more ice block. But even though they have more ice blocks, they don't have a cheat death, which is a loss. Their movement is good with two talent options, either double usable while casting blinks, or three stacks of your next spell is castable while moving. Their movement is good, but it's a downgrade from the fire movement, since they will get hurt a lot if there is a lot of consistent movement. They also require three different legendaries, so you're covered in all the situations. Freezing Winds is overall good, but not the best one for big AoE and solo targets. So if you don't have a lot of soul ash, just making Freezing Winds is the best idea. One of the bad things about them is that their whole kit is based on RNG with Brain Freeze proc and Fingers of Frost proc. Sometimes you will get really unlucky with your procs and there is literally nothing that you can do about it. Covenant options are more open than Fire Mage options, 20 are the best, but the gameplay and game feel isn't that different from any other Covenant. Necrolords are also super good Covenant for them in all situations, with Ninth Fae being a very good covenant in AoE situations. More options are always appreciated. And here we are at the least popular mage pack, Arcane Mages. I will kinda divide their topic a bit in Kyrian Arcanes and other covenant arcanes. Arcane Mages are more similar to Fire Mages in terms of burst damage. But they aren't lacking as much in consistent damage. In my opinion, Arcane Mages are very good at Mythic Plus, their overall DPS is pretty huge, and they are very good at solo targets and AoE, but AoE to 5 targets. Above 5 targets, they fall off since Arcane Barrage is cat. My issue with Arcane Mages, to the biggest extent Kyrian Arcane Mages, is that their Arcane Power is a lot longer cooldown than Combustion. This issue is more visible with Kyrians, since they don't run Arcane Prodigy. Arcane Mages have a few more clunky issues, such as movement issues. Kyrians almost must not move at all during their burst. Other Covenants can move with clear casted Arcane Missiles. The last issue which I have with them is the need for you to stand in medium range. Even melee range in order for your Arcane Explosion to hit everything. But these are just minor issues, and you can avoid most of the movement issues by being focused on the game fully and practicing. Arcane Mages are better than Fire Mages in terms of consistent damage, and they're worse than Frost Mages in terms of consistent damage. One other good thing is that they have their mini burst phase with Rune of Power and Touch of the Magi. Last huge buff to their Mythic Plus performance is the Affix of Prideful. You can go full ham on your mana and you aren't gonna deplete it, which increases your damage even further. If Fire Mages' uncapped AoE wasn't that oppressive, I think that the Arcane Mages would be a skilled, bigger DPS option. But now, I think that they can do higher keys than Frost Mages, but lower keys to compare to Fire Mages. Also, I prefer to be Necrol or Arcane Mage for Mythic Plus. Kyrians aren't a lot worse. But maybe this is just a matter of my preference. In the raid environment, I don't really like playing any Covenant except Kyrians, due to the ugly amount of RNG involved with clear casting procs, which affect your DPS by quite a lot. But even Kyrians aren't ideal. They have their case of RNG with Arcane Barrage criticals, which means day and night to them. Crit or no crit is about 40k damage difference from just one ability. And if you're lucky with your crits, your log might skyrocket. In my personal opinion, I believe that in current state with a similar gear, 
Arcane mages, may out DPS fire mages on solo target fights, which don't require a lot of movement. But they will only out DPS them if they get good enough RNG. If you can pass the RNG aspect and not get tilted, try them out. They're certainly great on bosses which don't require too much movement, because movement hurts Arcane the most. For legendary powers, if you're Kyrian, you're just running Arcane Harmony and that's it. You will save a lot of Soul Ash and you will do a huge amount of damage in AoE and solo target situations. If you are in Kyrian, you won't have at least two legendaries with Temporal Warp and Arcane Bombardment. Third one is optional and you can play with Arcane Harmony in some situations. For me, the best thing about Arcane Mages is that they're playable to almost full degree with any of the Covenants. Sure, some Covenants are a bit better, but overall the difference is pretty small and that's such an awesome feeling of freedom when playing Arcane. Kyrians are easy to play and unmovable, Ventir can get clear cast super easily, Necrolords have additional cleave cooldown and bigger burst, while Night Fae has shorter cooldowns. Every Covenant has some kind of uniqueness to themselves, and all of them are competitive, which is cool. To conclude, all made specs are good enough to play in any kind of content, as long as it's not super super hardcore. But that is less than 1% of the population, which is irrelevant in grand scheme of things. So in theory, you should be able to play any spec and still be super viable in majority of the content. In my book, Fire Mages are the best spec, followed by Arcane Mages, with Frost Mages being the last ones for this tier. But all of this might change in the next patch, with Fire Nerfs, plus new raid tier, which may suit Frost Mages a lot more than this tier. Which may make them the top tier raiders. New Mythic Plus Affix probably won't suit Arcane Mages as good as this one. All in all, the nerf to Fire Mages will just mean that we will probably be a less of a popular pick in Mythic Plus Dungeons. And that's it for the video. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like on it, and also please do comment your opinions. Check out my Twitch and Patreon page linked in the description, and until next time, take care.